How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here with a little Death Stranding news update. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Emma Stone is currently being rumored to be cast in Kojima's new title as a female lead, especially after some recent images that Kojima posted via Twitter of a female actor being 3D scanned and of a female head bust wearing a Lionsgate beanie, the studio behind Emma's latest hit, La La Land, which earned her an Oscar for Best Actress. Not to mention that Kojima is absolutely infatuated by Emma Stone, which is why some people believe that this this tweet from late 2016, in which Kojima says that he met an actress he's been in love with for 10 years, might be referring to none other than Emma, possibly to discuss her involvement. Now there's a lot of skepticism behind these rumors as well. One big reason for why people are doubting Emma's involvement is because of her status as a top tier actress, especially with the success of La La Land. People are saying that she probably doesn't have the time to engage in video game shenanigans when she's got a successful career as a movie star ahead of her. Well, to address that skepticism, I'd like to offer some insight. Believe it or not, Emma Stone has already been involved in a video game. This was five years ago, back in 2012, and she was involved in a game called Sleeping Dogs. Her character was Amanda Cartwright, and she's not a big character either, she's just one of the player character's dating options. She has some extensive dialogue here and there, but her role in the story was quite minimal. So yeah, Emma Stone being involved in video games really isn't such an impossible prospect. Now, one could argue that Emma Stone didn't have the reputation back in 2012 that she does today, but she definitely wasn't low profile back then either. In fact, it was just two months before Sleeping Dogs launched that The Amazing Spider-Man had released in theaters, where she played the female lead role Gwen Stacy. So she was definitely a big name, even back in 2012. Even so, she partook in a role as a video game character during that time, a pretty minor role at that. Fast forward to 2017 and she's won an Oscar, yes, but I don't think that means that she isn't willing to keep an open mind about participating in other mediums. She's already done it before and I don't see why she wouldn't consider doing so in the present, especially when it's a high profile game made by a renowned game developer who would likely offer her a substantial role where she could really flex those acting muscles, especially with the advanced performance capture technology that Kojima is using for his new game. I think it's an exciting and fulfilling venture for any actor. Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen certainly do seem to think so, despite being high-profile actors. Now, don't misunderstand, I'm not saying that this confirms Emma Stone will be in Death Stranding, we don't know that, this is still very sketchy rumors. All I'm saying is that her status as a high-profile actor doesn't make her prospective interest in participating in Death Stranding unlikely when you consider her past history. What are your thoughts on the matter? Do you think Emma Stone would prove to be a difficult catch for Kojima if he were to set his sights on her, or do you think she'd be open to venturing into the realm of video games once more, even after her reputation has reached new heights? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things Death Stranding, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Young out!